Hey guys, welcome to Netlink Daily. Don't play Watch Dogs until 4.30 in the morning. I'm tired. Sennheiser Game Zero and Game One headsets feature German-engineered transducers and active noise-canceling microphones for precision gaming audio. Available now at ncix.com. Today, Google announced their pilot project to create a fleet of prototype vehicles without a steering wheel and pedals. They created a website and YouTube video dedicated to spreading the message of a driverless future. Google showcased the very first demos provided to non-Google employees and allowed young kids elderly folk, and blind people to see what it'd be like to be driven around in what looks like a capsule hover car from Dragon Ball Z. The vehicles are electronically limited to 25 miles per hour and are essentially engineering prototypes with just the bare essentials. Two seats with seat belts, a spot for cargo, a start stop button, and a GPS screen displaying the active route. The plan is to make 100 prototypes including some at first with manual controls for testing and then control free versions over the next couple of years as a pilot project. I know. Wheels, for one, would totally be excited to get an extra 30 minutes of sleep on his way to work. Recently, wearables is becoming a hot topic, but sometimes that doesn't necessarily mean smart or data-connected devices. STX Med, a Belgian company, has created the Cephaly, which is a compact battery-powered headband. This isn't your average Sailor Moon headgear. This is designed for chronic migraine sufferers. It works by electrically stimulating a self-adhesive electrode placed on your forehead and when worn for 20 minutes a day, it seems to work. Well, at least the FDA thinks so because they just approved it for prescription use. Technology to the rescue! Psst! Hold on to your hats, NVIDIA fanboys, it's finally here. After months of delay, NVIDIA has gone and dropped their Titan Z. 5,760 CUDA cores, 12 gigs of GDDR5 memory clocked at 7 gigahertz, and a boost clock speed of 876 megahertz, this card puts out an impressive 8 teraflops of performance at a TDP of 375 watts. Just to put that number in perspective, ASCII White was the world's most powerful supercomputer from November 2000 to November 2001, and it involved 512 of IBM's commercial grade computers with 16 processors per node. That's over 8,000 processors working together with 6 terabytes of memory and consuming 3 megawatts of power and 3 more megawatts for cooling. All of that combined amounted to 7.2 teraflops of power, so essentially you've got a supercomputer sitting in your PCIe slot. Keep that in mind when you're complaining about the slot cooler. Either that or go grab a water block version of the card and while you're at it, get two more and put in an SLI for some serious compute performance. Links in the description below, you know, if you've got some cash burning a hole in your pocket. You can purchase your Titan Z from NCIX.com. That about wraps it up for today's Netlink Daily. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a nap on my way back to my desk. Okay, Google. Pick me up. Okay, Google, take me to my desk. <laughs>